Hey guys, today we're going to go over how to connect the Avico KVM to a Windows PC. Here we have the two monitors working and the keyboard and mouse already connected. So starting off with the back of the KVM, we're going to connect the PC to the PC2 portion of the KVM. We're going to start with the USB connection. It's a re regular USB-B, which is included with the KVM. Then we're gonna go with the HDMI 2.0. This is included with the KVM, so no need to purchase any additional HDMI cables. Then we're gonna connect the HDMI A, which is the same. So HDMI A feeds to monitor A on the KVM, HDMI B feeds to monitor B on the KVM, and then the USB portion gives you the keyboard and mouse and the USB ports on the front of the KVM. Now on the PC side, you have the motherboard, over here, and then you also have a graphics card. But once you have a graphics card, you really wanna connect the video over to your graphics card. So that's very important. So in our graphics card, we have two display ports and two HDMI. I'm gonna show you how to use both. So if you have two HDMI ports, it's very simple. Just connect the HDMI from the KVM over here to the PC. Very simple and then you have the USB connection that you connected from the KVM, connect that over here to the motherboard, and that's pretty much it. Now you have the three connections, you're all set up. Now in the case that you don't have two HDMI ports on your PC, you would need something like this display port to HDMI adapter. This will convert a display port to HDMI, very self-explanatory. This will get you the two HDMI connections that you need to set it up with the KVM. So there's your second HDMI, connect that there, and you're all set up. Once you're all set up, you should see a solid green light on the PC2 that indicates that you have the USB connection perfectly.